I'm working with a 12 inch circular plaque. You can pick these up at uh, Lowe's or Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna start by painting the entire plaque in Snow Owl by Wise Owl. And I did complete two coats and then allowed that to dry. I'm gonna be using a stencil through Studio R12 dot com if you want to try to pick up any stencils you can use chalk it up 10 for a discount code and this says I love you to the moon and back and this is their 12 by 12 stencil I'm just going to line it up on my board and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to block out my I love you to the moon and back for now I'm just going to use some sticky notes because I'm not going to really be going over this completely with paint. I just want to make sure no paint gets in this area. So once I covered with the sticky notes, I added some tape on top of that just to secure everything. And make sure I had full coverage. So I picked up this stencil. Uh, it's a damask stencil. I believe I grabbed mine at Michael's. It's just a pretty um, pattern. And I started by thinking I was gonna slide it underneath and that just wasn't working out. So I just lifted up my um, moon stencil, positioned my damask how I wanted it to be. And I'm just focusing on a pattern that fits nice with the crescent moon. And guys, it does not have to be this particular stencil. You could pick anything that has a nice pattern that would go well. Now today I'm going to be using some joint compound. This is if you do not have any uh, salt wash and you want to get that texture. Now the salt wash I could have added the paint to it and it could have killed two birds with one stone but this is just a nice technique for those that want to get a raised stencil and don't have the um, salt wash available. And I'm just using some uh, a spackle knife. And again, this is joint compound. This is not spackle, two different things. And once I get uh, that all over my um, moon there, I'm gonna lift it. And now you could see this texture in that pattern. So once everything dried, I'm going to lay my stencil back down on the raised areas and line it up. I'm going to lay my moon back down. Line that up. And I'm just going to secure everything right here. And I lined everything up to my raised stencil that I had just created. Again, this is all dry now. I'm going to block off my letter area. And I'm just getting some paint. I'm loading my brush and unloading. So it's a very dry paint. And I'm just doing some dry brushing on the raised areas. Again, if you had salt wash, you could have added the paint to it and it all would have been taken care of. But this actually was a really nice look because you could still see the white underneath. Kind of gave it that stone look um, with the dry brushed paint on top. I really like the look that this gave. And again, you want to make sure you have very little paint so you don't get any bleed through and it just stays on that raised area. So I just kept going back and forth till I had the amount of paint on that I wanted. Once I was done, I just lifted everything up and now you can see how um, you now have this textured yellow crescent moon with this nice pattern to it. Once that all dried, I laid my moon back down. And now I'm going to be taking some Wise Owl Black and a dabber. You can get these dabbers right at the Dollar Tree. And again, you want to load your dabber and then unload. You want a very dry dabber. And so you can see my first pass, I didn't even get my letters really that covered. So a lot of this is just going back and forth 
and just taking your time and slowly layering that black paint on there because if you push too hard or you try to use too much paint in one sitting, you're going to get that bleed through and I want to avoid that. And if you have a pretty steady hand, you could just kind of get the best you can and then fill it in with an art brush. So I was pretty happy with mine, but I did go back with an art brush and just uh, connect all my letters and just go through um, and make sure that it, you know, was nice and bright. And it says, love you to the moon and back. I really liked how this turned out. Once everything was perfectly dry, I took my Wise Owl varnish. You could use one hour enamel or you could also use your salve just to give this a nice top coat and to be ready to put, place on a wall. I did put a hanger on the back. Um, you could put a hole through and use some beads as a hanger. I thought that would look nice. And there you go. Love you to the moon and back. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.